Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. In this upcoming few videos, we are going to see how we can consume Web API in ASP.NET MVC. Till now, we studied how to consume Web API using HTTP client, but at that time, we saw how to consume it in a console application which do not have any UI. But here, we are going to see how we can consume it in ASP.NET MVC, which has a user interface so here also we are going to use http client class okay so uh, my strong recommendation is if you are not aware of what is http client class and how it how web api generally consume in c sharp.net application i will suggest you to watch those videos and i'll attach a link of that videos in the description below and if you are not familiar with asp.net mvc also again i will suggest you to watch that asp.net mvc tutorial then only you can understand whatever i'm going to tell in this videos so first of all we are going to set up our application means basically our asp.net mvc application so we can consume a web api in mvc so let us switch to visual studio so here i have already created one blank mvc application in c sharp .NET language and basically while creating an application i chose c sharp as a language and as you can see my entire application is empty means it is not having any controller not models all the basic files are there like package.config web.config app start folder are there so uh, we are going to create a controllers and model whatever required for consuming the web api in asp.net mvc application so i hope you remember if we want to consume a web api in .NET application we need to install one package so our first step is to install that package so let us start for that we have to go to tools menu and then say NuGet package manager and from NuGet package manager you have to say package manager console okay so here i have to say install dash package and what is the package name microsoft.aspnet.webapi.client then only you can consume your api or web api in asp.net application using http client so this is very first step while consuming any api in any as any asp.net or any dotnet application so hit a enter key so this will install all the necessary packages now if we open packages.config file you can found that this package is installed okay and along with that other few packages are also installed so we actually we installed this package but along with that package few more package like newtonsoft.json also get installed okay so we are done with installation of package now the next step is to add a controller so to add a controller you have to click on this controller folder right click over here and say add and then say controller so we are going to add mvc5 controller and this is going to be an empty controller we are going to write a code in it so i'll choose this option now say add now specify the name of controller so here also we are going to consume our asp.net vbpi product controller in mvc application that's why i'm naming this controller as product controller so say add so this added a product controller class and along with that a folder is also get created in views folder so this will this product folder under view folder will contain all the views related to the product and as well as you can see one default action method is also present so this part is done slowly as we move ahead we'll, we are going to add few more action method here so currently we are done with this part so controller is added now the next step is to add the model now what is going to be a model here so if you remember we already have an vbpi right let me open it so this vbpi is already created by us which is having the product controller and the same api 
we are going to consume in our ASP.NET MVC application. Okay. So if you remember, the methods of our web APIs are returning a value of type product view model or some methods are accepting an argument of type product view model. Like this create method is accepting the argument of product view model, whereas the get method is returning the list of product view model. So in our consuming application also, we need this model because we are going to pass the data in this product view model format. So this class has to be created in our consuming MVC application. So let me copy the properties. Now I'm switching to our consuming MVC application. So we have to add the model under this models folder and model is nothing but a class. So just right click over here, say add and say class. Now I'm naming my class as product view model say add so i already copied the properties i'm just going to paste it here okay so this is the prerequisite for consuming web api in asp.net mvc application so first we install the required package then we created the product controller and then after we created a model that we are going to use for the communication between mvc in our and our web api so in upcoming videos, we are going to see how we are going to consume each and every method of our web API in ASP.NET MVC. If you have any doubts or any concern, please write it to the comment section. Thank you for watching.